Hey DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're gonna show you a non-toxic, human and pet safe weed killer. This is awesome, let's take a look. All right, YouTubers, we are outside and walking the stairway all the way down to our pergola. We got flowers on each side and we want all grass and weeds away from our walkway. And as you can see here, you can pull them, but as you get down here, they get pretty aggressive. And we are going to mix that environmentally friendly product and mixture together. And we are going to get rid of all those weeds to make our walkway look a lot more presentable because we just spent some money on new flowers and landscaping. Got a flower bed full of peonies, flower bed full of roses, and more. So let's go up and open the box and show you what we have. Here is the box. Let's go ahead and open it. With the box open, there are four concentrated jugs of vinegar. You do not have to buy four, but we bought four because we plan on using this on all the sidewalks that loop around our house and flower beds. All right, YouTubers, I wanna show you the actual bottle and the logo on it. And as you can see right there, nine times stronger than vinegar, bleach and ammonia alternative, safe for the environment and septic and sewer safe. So very eco-friendly product. We have a one gallon sprayer, nothing fancy. And for your convenience, I want to show you the back. Not sure if this will help you in any way, but I want to show it to you. We are going to pour this entire jug inside here, and then we will add the salt and dish soap. Moving on to the salt, this is what it looks like. And this is sea salt and a black back to it. And the recipe calls for one cup of salt and we will fill it to the fill line, and that is one cup. One cup of salt. From here, we will go grab the dish soap. Here is our dish soap, and there is the brand. You can use any dish soap that you desire. Ours is natural dish soap, plant-derived, non-toxic, sulfate-free, citrus and sea salt, environmental friendly and that is our whole mission with this project one tablespoon the dish soap is what allows it to stick together and stay connected or attached to the weeds it's also important to know that as far as the vinegar, the recipe just calls for regular vinegar. However, we went with the full concentrate because it's nine times stronger and more effective. Go ahead and mix it together however you want to install the cap. And before we pump it, we are going to pick the bottle up and shake it. Spend about 30 seconds and mix the three products together. All right, YouTubers, before we show you the spraying process, you will see how organized and tight my sprays are. Do not go overboard with this product. If you want to keep the life of your plants, be very careful as you spray the weeds in surrounding areas. So go ahead and grab your nozzle and don't go full open. Just go right to the root and one circle around and just go slow. The faster you go, the more damage you may cause. And it's also extremely important, YouTubers, do not do this on a day where it's going to rain later. Do it on a day where you don't see any forecasted rain for a few days. And I am to the step area. And check those weeds out. They have grown higher than the actual step. And carefully spray them down. And again, be very careful. Do not allow any of this to hit your flowers or go anywhere near your flower beds. We'll continue this process and carefully spray the entire walkway. Make a progress. We have done the surface where the rock meets the concrete, all the cracks and the walkway. And I sprayed the entire under portion patio of the pergola. And this stuff works very quickly. We are going to show you what it looks like after one hour. All right, YouTubers, back outside. It's been an hour and 
this stuff works fast. As you can see, it is no longer bright green. It is turning brown very quickly. And over the next 24 hours, it will basically dry up to a point where when you touch it next, it will turn to dust. And at that point, you got a couple different options. You can broom it away, which is probably what we will do. Or you can grab a towel and rub it. It will all again turn to dust. And here's that big weed that I wanted to leave and spray just so you saw how quickly that product got its way into the weed and killed it. So I'll show you what it looks like here in 24 hours. One last update before we call it a day, YouTubers. This is two hours after the spray and it is shriveling and drying rapidly fast. All right, YouTubers, it is the next day and what was a big bright green growth of weeds is all dried up and look at that so as you can see it works really good and again environmentally friendly and septic system safe which is awesome hope this helps youtubers do us a favor below the video you'll see that thumbs up icon click on that like the video subscribe to the channel definitely ring your youtube bell that would be very helpful to us we would really appreciate it check this out youtubers Look at that. Just disappears. See that? Dry as all could be.